Due to the rapid development of ninja technology within Boruto, there have been a number of technological breakthroughs like computers, medical sprays, jutsu negating gloves, artificial limbs, mech suits, wall walking shoes, drones, this isn't even the full list. After the nation started the alliance, there hasn't been much of a need to militarize, especially in this new generation of Naruto. A lot of the older citizens are former shinobi who left to find work outside of missions. Becoming a ninja isn't as appealing as it once was. It's become common for the youth to graduate from the ninja academy because it will help them get a job outside of being a shinobi. And because of this, there's been a huge surge of employment for the rest of the Leaf Village. It created a gold rush for scientific research. There are research centers to study everything from medical science to space. One of the more prominent areas of study in this series is Konoha's scientific ninja weapons team. Recently, they have made numerous breakthroughs in studying ninjutsu. During the time of the tuning exams, Kashin Koji was able to infiltrate Konoha and place Katasuke in a very slight genjutsu, leading him to give Kara all the information he knows about ninja tech. The Kara organization then improved on it, and pretty much became a ninja tech superpower overnight. Katasuke had all memory of this event wiped. It took Ibuki, the interrogator Jonin from the original Naruto, to enter Katasuke's mind to find out that all the ninja tech was leaked. Not just the information on ninjutsu and ninja gauntlets, but everything. Katasuke is very powerful and is responsible for dataloging all known jutsus. Even the Nara clan's shadow binding techniques are recorded. Scroll technology has gotten to the point where a skilled shinobi can use jutsus on scrolls. The scroll will then store the technique until a second device known as a kote wristband is able to release the seal, thus creating the jutsu without using any chakra. The history of Kote weaponry begins at the start of Boruto's tuning exams. The time of their creation was right before it started. There were some limitations at the time. Not all ninjutsu has been field tested. Katasuke took a chance and gave Boruto a prototype purple lightning cartridge scroll in the final event of the tuning exams, which did exactly what it was supposed to do. The Hokage expressly forbid wristbands for the tuning exams because it took no effort or skill to use someone else's jutsu. This was a big moral point in the storyline because at the same time the Otsutsuki clan was committing a similar act by eating chakra pills and stealing ninjutsu with their renegons. The wristbands can release all known emission ninjutsu, including Keke Genkai Wood Release and Rasengan. The Kote kinda stopped appearing in the storyline after the tuning exam arc, but the manga shows Naruto use a prosthetic arm that gives him the ability to absorb incoming ninjutsu. Next time they introduce these gauntlets, they might have the ability to store incoming techniques and fire them back simultaneously during combat. I wouldn't be surprised if these things create a new style of fighting. Made it to the end, subscribe. I'm Six Passage, signing off. Bye. Jiraiya the Gallant.